President Carter, just uh, right out the shoot, I mean, impressive guy. Just what, what struck you the most about him? His sincerity, his passion. Uh, he's a competitor. I think you could see that come through loud and clear. Uh, and that just struck me as somebody that's going to come here, uh, be able to manage this complex organization, a leader in the future landscape of college athletics. Uh, and I think somebody that the coaches are going to want to work for and, uh, and produce some winners. I asked you if he had marching orders. Obviously, <laughs> it's uh, you, you being an old military man, but yeah. uh, th these are different days. I mean, how important do you think, I mean, are, is there going to be a super conference? Do you think that's where we're heading? You know, I don't know. Uh, I, I wish I had that kind of crystal ball. I think Ross has some better vision for where that might be going. You know, uh, my guidance to Ross uh, for now is, you know, get the transition, get your family set up, get here, spend a lot of time with Gene, learn the landscape. I mean, I'm kind of going through this right now myself. I'm meeting a thousand people a day uh, here in this amazing community. Uh, and it is, it's, it's a monster of a beast and he's going to have, you know, a lot to do. I wish I had the three months of transition that he's going to enjoy because on July 1st, Ross Bjork's going to be ready to be our ninth athletic director. Some say we're heading to the professionalism of college athletics, especially football. Is that where we're heading? Uh, short of uh, making them student athletes and still showing that, you know, our 36 Division I teams here, 35 of them have over a 3.0 GPA, one has a 2.92. I think we'll maintain that. But when it comes to the sport itself, I think we'd have a hard time arguing that short of paying the players, we're almost at that professional level now. 36 sports, you said up there, and, and I, I know all the kids that were listening, you want to keep 36 sports. I do. I'm a, I did it at Navy. Uh, I had 35 when I was there. I was proud of that. We actually had 1,200 uh, uh, D1 athletes there, and uh, we created a 36 team. I'm proud of the fact that we have a fencing team, a synchronized swimming team, field hockey, men's and women's hockey. You know, these are high revenue uh, to maintain sports with equipment and travel. We're going to figure it out. Uh, I know we've got the fans, we've got the philanthropic base that want to make sure we maintain them. It's too important. We owe these student athletes that. Last thing, and uh, you know, you you are new here. How long did it take you to figure out that team up north? Uh, what whatever, and you now know. I do, and I I I know what he was thinking about because I think uh, when Woody Hayes was here, he referred to him as, uh, uh, you know, not not necessarily. Uh, it was the difference between the acronym between. Uh, the team up north uh, and the school up north. So today it's the team up north, and that's what we refer to, T-T-U-N. So I, I got it. <laughs> and it's the game. It is the game. And as your fans might know, uh, I'm pretty used to rivalries with the Army-Navy game. This is the one that's the biggest. So beating Michigan is not only important in football, it's important in every sport and every contest. Thank you so much, President Carter. Thank you.